Hey guys, it's Julie Melillo. I'm a life coach here in Manhattan. My website is yourdreamslifecoach.com. How can you choose resolutions for 2020 that you actually accomplish, that you're excited about, that you want to do, and that you achieve? Ugh, we've all been in this situation where we choose some kind of resolution and then we forget about it or we just don't do it and it's like such an awful feeling when you don't do it. It's almost worse than like if you hadn't chosen it in the first place. So let me give you guys some tips right now how to choose the best goal for you so that you can actually achieve it. All right, first things first. Get rid of your should list. A lot of people are choosing resolutions that they should want to do because they want to like show off and impress other people. Oh, look at this great goal that I'm going to do. If you're not actually excited about your goal, you're just not going to do it. And then no one's going to be impressed that you didn't do that goal. So get rid of your should list. Actually be honest with yourself about what you actually want not what you should want. And this is hard because people feel like, oh, but I should, or society is telling me that I should want to do this. But you don't, so just let it go. <laughs> Choose something you actually do want to do. And the cool thing about that is that can then motivate you to do other things. It's kind of like when you get that ball rolling, everything sort of improves. So choose stuff that you actually want, not that you should want. Um, yeah, that's the first one. Now the second one is get clear on, is it that you're not really excited about this goal or is it just that you're sort of lacking a bit of confidence? Sometimes people think that their goal isn't really possible. So then when they think about that goal, they're like, well, I mean, I'd like to switch jobs. I just... I don't really think that I can, like, I don't think I have the experience or the credentials or whatever. So, so when they think about that goal, they feel sort of a sense of dread or like insecurity or, oh, I'm not good enough. And then they don't want to think about that goal because it obviously is not making them feel excited and happy and enthusiastic. It's making them feel like, yeah, that's probably not going to happen for me. So I should probably just give up on that. So if that's happening to you, that doesn't mean that your goal is unattainable. It just means that you've got some blocks in your way, you've got some negative feelings towards yourself, and you have to look at the reality of the information and the facts to figure out what's true, and then how can you move those pieces around to still accomplish your goal. So when you really look at that in depth, you might find that there are some hurdles and you need to make a plan to go around that or you know switch things up a little bit that doesn't mean that you can't change jobs or start a business or whatever it is but you might need to do it in a slightly different way and that's exciting because that means you can actually do it but what's not exciting is thinking that it's just impossible it's doomsday there's just no way that this can improve which, to be honest with you, is how most people are feeling these days. Most people are not seeing that much opportunity out there, and that's for some very good reasons I won't get into. But there's always some opportunity. There's always the chance to improve yourself and to get things that you actually want. And that's exciting. That's fun. That's cool. But if you're not feeling that motivation, it might be that you're just simply not seeing that this is possible for you, which again doesn't mean that it's not possible. It means that some things have to be moved around a little bit. And that's something that we do in coaching, um, so I can't really like fix that problem for you right now in this video, but that is something that you can look into on your own is going into depth into all those blocks in your way. And blocks can either be things in the environment, like maybe you want to start a business, but there's so many regulations and rules and you know places you're supposed to send um, taxes to different states that you just feel like, oh my gosh, I can't even handle this. I don't even know where to begin. Or it might not even be possible to make a profit depending on your business. And um, 
The other type of block could be your beliefs about yourself, some lack of confidence, maybe you had some bad experiences in the past, which I mean, who hasn't had some of those? And that could eat away at your confidence. Maybe people said to you, oh, you really think you can handle that? Oh, I don't think you can. And you have those beliefs kind of stuck in your mind. That's another type of block. So those blocks might actually be stealing your motivation and it might be that you're actually a very motivated person and that you are actually excited about your goals, whether they're for career, business, dating, relationships, but because of those blocks in the way, stuff in the world, stuff in yourself, it just drains all that motivation and then you just feel like, Ugh, what is the point of even working on that? It would just be a waste of time because I don't think it could even happen anyway. So that was a big chunk of info to throw at you. So <laughs> yeah, but think that through because you could have some of that going on. Um, so you want to be aware when you're choosing goals that it should feel exciting. And for it to feel exciting, it has to feel at least somewhat possible. So like, let's look at dating. If you really think that you're not going to get a single date in 2020, you think you suck at dating, well, that's not really going to be the most exciting goal then. You're not probably going to feel like, yes, I'm going to make a resolution to go on tons of dates and find my soulmate. You're probably not going to make that resolution if your your beliefs and your feelings about it are like, yeah, 2019 was really, really horrible for me dating-wise. I think it's proven to me once and for all that I should just give up on this for good. Right? So that's the thing. You can either give up on that and then find something that at this moment you actually are excited about. Because everything's always shifting around. So, you know, that can change and you can find later on that you are excited about dating again. Maybe something improved your confidence or whatever changed. Or you can address that area and try to work through whatever blocks you have, find some good solutions, and then be excited about the goal. But my, my main idea here is it has to be something you're excited about because when you're excited about it, it means that you think it's possible. If you're not excited about it, there's at least some part of you that just doesn't think it's possible or it's possible that that goal just isn't for you and it's something on your should list that you actually don't really want to do. Like, oh, I should send more greeting cards for the holidays, but I really, really don't want to. You know, you get to make these choices as adults. You don't have to do things just because you should. Um, the next thing is just... When you really don't have time to think about your goals, it's tough and like who has time, especially during the holidays, but this is something you can do even in little, little bits of time that you have here and there while you're, you know, chopping vegetables for dinner or something like that. You can, um, well, maybe not then. That's probably not a good time to be thinking about this if you're using a knife. Okay. When you have other little bits of time, like you're stuck in traffic or whatever, um, or you're in the shower, you know, let your mind wander a little bit and think about these questions like, hmm, what would I be excited about for 2020? What's something that's really important to me? What's something that I really wanted this year that didn't happen, but that if it did happen next year, it would be amazing? And if you can identify some areas of your life like that, whether it's love, friendship, health, fun, um, being organized. It can really be anything. But if it's something that you feel like that would be really nice, make that your resolution. Now, as far as choosing a resolution, there's two ways to do this and they both have their pitfalls. So you can either choose a big, huge goal because that's exciting. It tends to motivate us. It's like when we really think of that vision of wow, I could actually do X, Y, Z this year. Like for me, I know it was a big deal like when I chose to move to New York a really long time ago. Um, man, that was a long, long time ago. I was in my 20s. And I decided I was going to move to New York with a suitcase. And for me, that was like a huge goal to just leave everything behind and move. And so it was very, very exciting to work on that goal. But on the flip side, you can actually choose tiny, 
tiny, tiny goals, smaller than you ever thought would be useful. And it, just me saying this, you're probably gravitating more towards one or the other. So I would say that if you're really like stuck in a rut, you feel like this year has been awful, you have like nothing but nothing but problems, nothing but challenges, you might not get excited about the huge goal because you might think, oh, that's not even possible. But a small goal that you do think is possible, you very well may get excited about. Um, so it might be something that's like five minutes a week, you work on it, right? And it's just a very tiny thing that you're chipping away at. And as time goes on, you might be able to bite off more but you know, at that moment, bite off what you can chew and you'll be excited about that. So for example, if you haven't exercised in like 10 years, your health is just like a mess. You really want to get healthy, but it's like, you know, you have to start with where you're at, right? So for you, the idea of like, I don't know, getting eight pack abs might just seem so unrealistic that it's just ridiculous and you're not going to be excited about that goal for New Year's res resolution, but you might be excited about the idea of like, okay, I'm gonna add in five minutes of walking a day. And I actually think that I can stick to that. And this is the cool thing, when you do add a small goal like that, it really can change everything. And you might start with five minutes, you might do that for six months, and then by the end of the year, you might have that up to 30 minutes and lose a significant amount of weight. So don't discount those tiny goals, those small amounts of time. Things like I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna research how to start a business for um, 10 minutes a week. You might say 10 minutes is nothing. You're not gonna get anything done. Well, you might be surprised what you can get done in 10 minutes. If you're Googling and you're really interested in using your time wisely, 10 minutes a week, you might really start to hit on some stuff, get your head around like, okay, this is, I'm going to have to get a permit. I'm going to have to, you know, set up a business name. You might really learn a lot in just 10 minutes a week. And the next thing you know, just because you're passionate and interested in this topic, you might start spending more time on it and really get the ball rolling faster than you even thought. So don't discount those tiny goals. Um, so the pitfall of the uh, the huge goal, the huge goals pitfall can be that if you just don't think it's realistic, it might not be motivating. And the pitfall to the tiny goal is if if you really do think it's possible and you are excited about it, you may as well use your motivation to just attack it and just attack it. And then you don't want to limit how much time and you actually kind of want to go big instead of going small. So a lot depends just on where you're at when you choose a resolution. Like, are you in a motivated, excited place? Choose a big goal, attack it, bite off a lot and chew it all, right? And if you're not motivated and you're feeling like, everything sucks, nothing ever works, which is how a lot of people are feeling this, these days because there are problems in the world, obviously there are, um, and you just don't feel like, oh, start a business, oh, give me a break. I can barely like get through the work week as it is. I have no time, I have no energy. Then you might want to start with that tiny goal, bite off a little tiny chunk that you know you can actually do, and then when you see wow, I actually do have five minutes in my week. Hmm, I actually can pull off walking for five minutes a day and I'm actually feeling better and noticing even some health improvements just from that. You know, that's the cool thing about tiny goals. It seems at first like they're just, oh, what's the point? This is so insignificant. But everything is made up of five minute Increments. Everything is made up of tiny goals. So in my mind, there is nothing that's insignificant. And spending an hour on something isn't necessarily better than spending five minutes on it. If if what you're doing is coming from a passionate place, a lot can happen in five minutes. I mean, think about that. Business deals are done in five minutes. Um, jobs are offered in five minutes. Um, dates are... You know, you, you can get a date in five minutes with a total stranger. 
you can have the business idea that changes your business in five minutes. Like this is all possible in five minutes. Like you can get engaged to someone in five minutes. There's a lot. I don't want to like tell you the full list, but there's a lot of stuff that can happen in five minutes. So don't discount that small goal. But that's really your choice. Do you want to go big or do you want to go tiny and realistic? Because choosing that is really important. And it's not that you can't do both, but I would say when you choose that res resolution for 2020, choose either something that seems like so huge, so big, maybe you can't attain it, but you're excited to try, or go so small that even if you don't even believe it, it's something you can still pull off. Like maybe you really don't think you can change jobs, you just don't think you're good enough or whatever it is, but you're gonna put five minutes into that job search per week anyway, keyword anyway. And if you put the five minutes in per week, you might actually be surprised that you come across different information, you start thinking of yourself a little differently because you see, oh, I actually do have some skills that people want. Maybe I don't have every single thing they want, but yeah, I do have some stuff that they want. And then you change, you change your thoughts and beliefs and your confidence as you go along. So I hope that was useful guys and this is a really good time to like spend that time and if you do have some free time during the holidays where you know you're just kind of sitting around you have some time off from work or whatever it doesn't hurt to think about this stuff like what do you really want for 2020? Is it something with your family, your friends, is it your health, is it your business, your career, money, finances, all of the above? Um, and choose the thing that you're really excited about. Like maybe 2020 is the year you're gonna meet your soulmate. Maybe 2020 is the year that you're gonna meet your group of friends that really get you. Maybe you're gonna take your career to the next level and you know, be more confident about your career choices. Maybe you're gonna create a business or expand the business you've already created. Maybe you're gonna learn a foreign language or some other skill Maybe I'll go back to school. Like, there's so many different things you can do, but that's my advice for you guys is just choose something you're passionate about. If you really don't think anything is possible for you, if you're down in the dumps, choose a tiny goal. Just bite off a tiny little corner of that. Don't bite off more you can, than you can chew, but then stick to it. Do it even if you don't think it's possible. Um, just do a tiny bit. And you know, don't have that attitude like, okay, well, I'm gonna do my five minutes of job search, but I better get my dream job in two seconds. Like, be realistic, you know? Just do a little bit and then expect that if you keep putting something in, you are eventually going to get your results. It might not be immediately. And if you are positive and excited, you know, really guys, this the sky is the limit. I know the world isn't perfect. We have limitations out there. You know, we have some, you know, some problems in the world for sure, but you can still carve out that piece of life and make it your own and make it happy and successful. So just use everything you've got to create a great life because when you create a great life for you, you're going to naturally help the people around you, your loved ones, your friends, your family. When you have more time, you have more money, you can help other people out. You have time simply to be there for people, to listen to them. If you're working like all these hours, you're not going to be able to do that, right? And if you don't have money and someone needs money to borrow, like you're not going to be able to help them, right? So invest in yourself. And that's not selfish. That's about helping you. And then you put your oxygen mask on and then you can help the people around you. So I'm wishing everybody a lot of success for 2020. If you guys are interested in individual coaching, I have in-person coaching in cafes on the Upper East Side in Manhattan. And I have phone coaching, virtual coaching everywhere else. Go to my website if you're interested in coaching your dreams, lifecoach.com. My earliest sessions that I have open are in um, early January 2020 and you can book the session on my website and get my rates and all that stuff. So it's yourdreamslifecoach.com. Type that in your browser and you can go get my rates there. 
Okay guys, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what your resolution is, or if you have a few and you can't decide or whatever, just like I'm curious what, what yours are, and hope you guys have great holidays and nice new year. Thanks for watching.